Right then, welcome back. So, sorry this video is a, uh, a smidge later than I would have wanted, but uh, here we are. We're going to have a bit of a look at meteorology, uh, clouds and weather and stuff like that. Um, this particular lesson will be focusing on clouds, uh, and then in upcoming lessons we'll, um, there's only really a couple more to do to be honest, uh, we'll look at things like precipitation, wind and so on and so forth. Um, there's not a lot to, to more to cover to be honest, so um, yeah, looking pretty good for the Air Nav and Pilot Nav syllabuses. So this is all sort of lumped together as one, so um, by the end of this, this course, uh, I think I mentioned it at the start, but no harm in reiterating. Um, all the all the subject matter for air nav and for pilot nav uh, will have been covered, so you should be able to uh, hopefully go for both of those exams. So we're currently sat at RF Coningsby, and um, we're not on real world weather. I've set up some very unrealistic custom weather, and we're going to take a bit of a fly out uh, and uh, have a look at some of these clouds that we've got up here. Uh, so let's flick some lights on, not that it particularly matters too, too much. I think I've got everything turned on that needs to be on. I am not massively familiar uh, with the Eurofighter, but um, yeah, let's give it a go. Let's have a bit of fun. Um, pick the Eurofighter simply because uh, it gives us a slightly better climb rate. I tell you what, we probably want to disconnect that Jenny, don't we? How do I do that then? Um, no, it's not them. How do you disconnect the Jenny? Yes, Pippa, I can hear you. Oh. What? Come on then. Stop being a pain in the bum. Um, is it security? Oh, no, it's absolutely not security. Uh, how do you disconnect the blooming Jenny? Uh, it's, no, it's not going to be on this side, I'm pretty sure of that. It's going to be down here somewhere, and I'm just not quite seeing it. I've clearly turned something on that I don't necessarily want on. Uh, Alright, if I don't find it, I'm just going to ignore the fact that it exists. You know what, let's just turn all these okay, to measure things off. Nope, that's not done it. So they can come back on, so we can get our radar altitude. Um, yeah, let's just pretend that's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back to the uh, the books and then have a quick read. Uh, so, okay, cool. There are four fundamental types of cloud that we're going to look at. There's stratus, there's cumulus, there's cumulonimbus, and there's cirrus. So they're the four sort of fundamental types. Now you you might see when you're looking at the books and so on, uh, things like alto stratus, um, alto cirrus, things like that. Um, but we'll talk about those uh, in the next video because it all it means is alto just means it's very high up. Um, and of course, things aren't necessarily always one particular type. So you can get cumulostratus, which is basically a mix of cumulus and stratus. But uh, we're, we're going to keep to the fundamentals for this video. Don't worry, we are going to cover the, the slightly more funky things. Um, but let's just stick to the basics for this particular video. So we'll get ourselves up, up and away. And... Um, and we'll have a look at the layers. So what I've done is just for a 100 mile radius around um, Coningsby, I've set up the, those four different types of clouds at four different altitudes. So first of all, we'll hit the stratus clouds, then we'll go a bit higher, and then we'll have a look at the cumulus, then we'll go a bit higher, we'll have a look at the nimbo, uh, cumulonimbus, 
and then we'll go a bit higher and look at the cirrus so hopefully you should you know we can do a bit of flying around and having a look at what they look like from the air and from the ground and so on and so forth the ones you can see at the moment are of course the stratus that's these ones um then yeah we can sort of see some cirrus higher up but that'll be a bit more obvious uh, when we actually get a bit higher up i would love to know how to get rid of that because that is really really annoying me let me just have another quick look. Let's line up first of all, shall we? Hey. Uh, very quick look. Maybe it is down here. Uh, 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 but it's one of these like hidden buttons or something. Might well not be, but not going to be any of the radio trim norm um e box i don't know what that means uh i don't want to jettison anything we don't need the hook What does that actually say? Whoa, hello, hello. You. I can't even see that. Nope, that wasn't it. I don't know what. Oh, that's the fuel boom. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we don't need that. Fuel cross feed, don't need that. No, it's just going to sit there and bug me. It, it'll go as soon as we take off. Uh, I just wanted to get a nice shot of us taking off, but never mind. Let's ignore it. Pretend it's not there. Kick the tyres, light the fires, and away we go. Look at that acceleration. is just bonkers. And up. Burners away. Gear coming up. Said gear coming up, please. No, nope, all right, you're going to be difficult. Gear coming up, please. Thank you. And apparently, I've now lost my hood. Oh well. Uh, not to worry, we will get our details up on here. Where is ND? I would like my ND, please. Fleur, yeah, we can put Fleur on. No, we don't want that. There we go. Apparently, Freak. Apparently, our gyros are a little bit skew with. But anyway, right, okay, up we go. So, our first cloud layer is at. Da, 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 da. Uh, 3,000 feet. So let's get up to 3,000. Uh, and let's try not to go too far, too far out. Because I've only done this for a 100 nautical mile range. Okay, it's about 4,000 here. So... We can see the cirrus, ignore the things that are higher than us, just the things that are, are on the nose, as it were. And we see the sort of little fluffy white clouds, really, sort of spread out normally, um, tend to be sort of flat, low-level clouds with a flat base. Look, you can see it's a very, very flat baseline along there. Um, in terms of precipitation, it's normally drizzle and stuff you get from uh, stratus clouds. Um, yeah, horizontal layering is really the sort of takeaway uh, thing for this. 
Russia, if, if you Google it, you'll see some pictures, but it it's almost like fog, really. Little patches of fog with a very flat baseline. Um, and that are, that those are stratus clouds. Not really too much of a problem for aircraft so much. Um, certainly no real turbulence um, because they're not um, formed by convection. So we know convection, if you think of a lava lamp, hot things go up, it cools down and then comes back uh, down again. Uh, and you get this cycle. Now clouds, and we call that upstream, we know what that is, it's a thermal of course. So if you think a the, the hot, uh, sorry, the water vapour gets pushed up, it then condenses into water droplets, which is what a cloud is, um, and then sits on top of that thermal. That's not this, okay, that's not stratus clouds, we'll have a look at those in a minute. This is more just like or haze that just sort of floats around um, in the air. But if we go up a bit higher to, what did I set the next one at? I think it was 10,000 feet. So let's just give that a squeeze. So we'll get above these stratus clouds. And you can get a different sort of view of the stratus. You see, it's, it's like fog, it's like mist. Okay? Not like the clouds we're going to see now that we're slowly starting to approach. So these ones we can see on the nose now, these are cumulus clouds. And cumulus clouds form at the top of a convection current. So these will have a flat base and they'll be little clumps exactly as you see here and this is typically you know if you if you ask someone to draw a cloud then that is what they would draw is a, a, um, a cumulus cloud you will get turbulence in cumulus clouds because they are sat on top of this convection current um, you can get precipitation from them, although not always, and it, it tends to be heavier rain, but again, not not always. Bonnings be in sight there. And these are the the sort of standard clouds you would expect to see. If you're a glider pilot and you see a, cum a cumulus uh, cloud in the distance and above you, fly underneath it and you will get that thermal which will take you up up and into the air. So as we're climbing higher then we can see these cumulus clouds but not necessarily all at the same height that's something different to a stratus and you can see how they're very different to these stratus clouds that we've got down below now. I will mention that this the way I've set this up so we can see it, this is very unrealistic. You wouldn't get cumulus or wouldn't necessarily get cumulus clouds over the top of stratus clouds. I'm just doing it so we can climb up and see what they look like at different, uh, you know, at different set points rather than more being merged into one. We'll talk later about how it actually forms in the real world, um, probably in, in a lesson or two's time. So here are the cumulus clouds. Now what I'm hoping to come across is the next one. Oh, I've just seen one over there. Which is a cumulonimbus cloud. So it is a type of cumulus cloud, a cumulonimbus, or cunin, as they're sometimes affectionately called. And there's one right on the nose at the moment, a little bit far away, but see how it's this massive tower, huge great big tower. So it's not just a little clump, it's a very, very tall, um, high anvil, they sometimes call it, but it doesn't necessarily look like an anvil, but eh, it's not a million miles off, I guess. So I'll tell you what, let's just... Uh, 
speed up a smidge and let's get over to it. I didn't spawn too many of these because, well, as you'll see, they're a little bit fruity. So a QNIM is what will give you big, heavy thunderstorms with lightning um, and, you know, all that sort of stuff. They are the real aggressive, horrible, you don't want to go near a QNIM cloud um, aircraft if you've got one in front of you on your flight plan you will not fly through it you will tell air traffic control i'm going around it um, because you don't want to fly into one of these it has its own internal convection so you get huge updrafts and huge downdrafts and that will quite easily flip a plane upside down very very easily flip the plane upside down so this was actually a little bit further away than i thought it was but no matter please don't tell me that's just a <laughs> cumulus sat on top of a i thought i saw lightning coming off it that's why i sort of got a little excited uh, I think it is just a cumulus sat on top of another cumulus. Yeah, the weather generation's a little bit daft. Here's a, a nice little puffy cumulus here, just passing that. Very nice, very nice. I did see some bolts of lightning. No wondering if it was this. But the turbulence you will get in a cumulus, it, the cumulonimbus, sorry, is you do not do what I'm about to do. And if this is a QNIM, um, <laughs> expect this to get bumpy. You just don't fly through it. They're far too dangerous. As you can see, yeah, you can see the very vertical tower like nature. It isn't quite as compact thought it was so this may not well this may not be no I don't think it is I think this is just a, a cumulus on top of another cumulus yeah it is all right no matter spin ourselves around and what I will do is I will just on the fly alter the weather uh, let's get rid of them, let's get rid of them, and then let's edit that. Sorry, just doing this off screen, I'm just editing the, the weather here. Uh, and let's just have a few more of them for good measure. Next, next, next. Okay. And we'll just wait for Active Sky to actually uh, update that weather. Oh, have I just deleted the wrong one? They look like cumulus. I think I did. Oopsies. Oh no, I did put... Oh. I know what I've done. Try that again. Right, just give that a moment to update. And we will see if we can find Coningsby again, because we've come quite far out, but uh, no matter. We'll just find a random airfield to uh, load back into, or fly back into. Ooh, look at me. Right, just waiting for Active Sky to sort its stuff out. Is it going to do it, or is it going to be a pain? There's a mini one there. So that was very vertical. I'm 
normally they are absolutely gargantuan. Why is it not playing ball on me now? Hmm. I could say I should have tested that. Cumulo Nimbus. Okay. Well, the debate wins a lot. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's a bad boy. Oh, huge like spike. Uh oh. <laughs> Have I just broken FSX? Rut <laughs> row. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the cloud I wanted to go to has now vanished. Never mind. Why is it not making absolutely humongous QNIP clouds? Because normally they are... I'll tell you what, right, so I can actually show you. Trying to get a bit bumpy now. Oh, yes. Right, if I put on Doink. Right, there we go. These whopping so I mean that that one definitely looks like an anvil, you can you can see that. Um but they are, you know, not small clouds like we're currently seeing. They are on their own and they are monstrously large. That's what we're looking for. But for some reason, FSX is just uh, an active sky, just isn't really playing ball, generating them. So let's try flying into one. Well, we saw how bumpy it got anyway. Bearing in mind we're doing, you know, just shy of 500 knots here, so our, our penetration through the air is, is pretty good to avoid uh, those issues but we can see it's getting very very bumpy why is the gear still down Oof. you'd be feeling that wouldn't you oh i don't know why the gear's down there's something very very odd going on here but you can see how much we are bumping about here. I mean, this is, you, you'd be struggling, really struggling. Even the fly-by-wire of an aircraft like this would be having an absolute whale of a time trying to keep us straight. I'm not sure if it's actually modelled on this. Well, looks a bit not really. No, not quite like the Airbus. But these wings would be flexing and bouncing all over the shop. Anyway, so that, that was a pretty failed attempt at uh, showing you a, a QNEM. Never mind. So let's go up to the last one then. Let's go up to a Cirrus. And the Cirrus is the last one that we can see above us now. And these are the wispy, finger-like, very thin, um, tend to be very flat, not covering a particularly high thickness of air, as it were. Um, and these are the tend to be the very high altitude clouds that you see. I mean, I've got them quite low down here, actually. Um, 
I think these are about 20,000 feet, something like that, over thereabouts. Yeah. And here we are, just punching through now some of the cirrus clouds, and you hardly notice they're there, to be honest. Oh, there you go, there's a big QNIM in front of us. The size of that bad boy. And just turn around to think. Oh, there's a nice one. Not very big, but it's sort of done the shape quite nicely. So, yeah. That's sort of what you're looking for. There's some really big ones in the distance. Uh, it's, it just needed a bit of time to sort of generate them then by the looks of it. So let's just uh, tweak these clouds a bit now. Let's get rid of the... And let's just go for Cirrus. Okay, good. Oh, we're a, a little bit high, really. So, I just made a boo boo. Six eighths. Okay, cool. I've no idea where we are. Oh, oh yes, I do. Yeah. That looks like the wash. So we're flying south at the moment. Uh, no, we are not. We actually. Oh, I'm not convinced that this is right. Anyway, let's just drop ourselves down and give the clouds a chance to spawn. Nope. Too many G's. Where have all my serious clouds gone? I had a load. Well, you saw them anyway. So, cirrus clouds are uh, sort of short detached air like clouds, um, pretty much always found at high altitudes. They look very delicate, wispy, almost like little tufts of hair. Um, and they're, they're your four cloud types then really so let's keep this video short um, they're the four things you're looking out for so we have stratus there's um, cumulus and there's the big monsters the big thunderstorm clouds the cum cumulonimbus um, and then finally we had cirrus Tend to be uh, your sort of high altitude ones. That's it for this lesson. Then we'll do a quick spin around. Is that Waddington? Might be. I don't know. So let's. If you if you want to finish now, and uh, that's it. Brilliant. Fine. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about precipitation and cloud heights um, and a little bit on how we actually uh, report the type of clouds in things like metars and so on. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're, we're really nearly done. If you do want to stay watching and watch me absolutely make a disaster out of this landing, then feel free, but uh, if you don't, and uh, see you on the next one. So we'll join by initials on the dead side. There we go. So we will run. And around about halfway down, we'll turn and pull back hard to help bleed some of that speed off. 
I have no idea where we are. I suspect Waddington, but I'm not 100%. And we will then drop our gear down. Whoopsie daisies. Which has been down the whole time and don't quite understand why. And then before we get too close to that airfield, we will do our 180. Forget how well this thing turns, it's absolutely hysterical. And how yeah, good the brakes are. I can't be bothered going down and clicking the chute. Uh, it's just too difficult to do when you're pressing all the controls. So speed brake comes out. God, I'm making a meal of this. I'm absolutely not used to flame fighters, that's for sure. Well, we might need the shoot, you know. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, and the generators come back. <laughs> That's quite amusing. And down we come. Lovely. Well, it wasn't uh, a great landing, but it'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. Just out of curiosity, let's have a quick squiz as to where we actually are. Oh, this is Mildenhall. Ah, oh no, sorry, Lake and Heath we're at. Ah, right, so we actually, uh, we actually came down quite a good bit further south than I thought we had. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. Oh, that's not showing up very well. Anyway, Lake and Heath, Milden Hall. I don't know where that is. Slap bang in the middle of East Anglia. The two American uh, airfields. Um, but yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Doodles.